primary 5, chapter 7, lesson 13 and 14. Lesson 13 and 14, dividing decimal. We will divide decimal using models. 2 and 4 tenths divided by 4 tenths. 2 whole and 4 tenths. We color the dividend 2 whole and 4 columns 4 tenths. We will divide it into 4 tenths. That means four columns, four columns, four columns, four columns, four columns, four columns, four tenses, four columns. Then we get six groups of four tenses. So the, the quotient of two and four tenses divided by four tenses equal six. Four groups. Find the quotient using the models. First, one and four tenses divided by seven. One whole and four columns divided by seven tenses. So we'll cut them into seven columns and seven columns we will make two whole groups. So the quotient, it will be two. The number of equal groups is two and the number of items in each group, the equal 0 0.7, the seven columns. Another exercise, two and four tenses divided by 60 groups. We have all two whole and four columns, we divide it in six groups. What is the number in each group? Four columns means four tenses. So in each group of the six groups is four columns or four tenses. Two and five. Tenses divided by five. That means two whole and five tenses. We'll divide it into five groups. So we color two whole and five columns, five tenses, and we will divide it into five groups. So each group contains five columns. That means five tenses. And second group, five tenses, five tenses. So, the answer equals 5 tenses. The number of equal groups is 5. We divide it into 5 groups, 5 equal groups. And the number of items in each group is 5 tenses. Estimate decimal quotient. If we have exercise, 45 and 64 hundreds divided by 6 and 87 hundreds. We want to know, estimately, the answer of the quotient. First, we will get the divisor and round it to the nearest whole. So, 6 and 78 hundreds, the 6, its neighbor is 8, it's a big number so it will be rounded rounding up into seven then we will get the dividend 40 45 and 64 hundreds we estimately up and estimately down according to the time table of seven because the divisor is seven so 45 and 64 Hundreds, it's located between 42 and 49. So 45 and 64 hundreds, it's between 40, 49 
and bigger than 42. We divide all of them, 42 divided 7, the smaller as a rounding down, and 49 divided 7, the rounding up, and our example 45 point uh, and 64 hundred divided by 7. This is our example. So the quotient will be between 49 divided 7 equals 7 and 42 divided 7 equals 6. So the quotient would, will be between 6 and 7. Let's have an exercise estimate the quotient. 45 and 35 hundred divided by 5 and 3 tenths. First, estimate the divisor. 5 and 3 tenths uh, are rounding to the nearest whole. The 3 is a small number, so 5 and 3 tenths rounding down into 5. Then, grab the dividend and look for the number up, rounding up and rounding down according to the multiples or table 5. So 45 and 35 hundreds, it's between 45 and 40 according to multiples of 5. Divide each number, in, dividing by 5, our divisor, 40 divided 5, 45 divided 5, and our example, 45 and 35 hundreds divided by 5. So, 45 and 35 hundreds divided by 5, our example, it's estimately around or between 8 and 9. 8 because it's 40 divided 5 equal 8 and 9 because 45 divided 5 equal 9. So, the quotient will be between 8 and 9. B. 22 and 12 hundreds divided by 4 and 98 hundreds. First, take the divisor and round it to the nearest whole. Uh, four, point, 4 and 98 hundreds rounding up into 5 because 9 is a big rich number. Then grab the dividend, 22 and 12 hundreds. According to multiples of 5, 22 and 12 hundreds, it's located between 20 and 25 from multiples of 5 because our divisor is 5. Now divide each, uh, each item divided by 5. So our example 22 and 12 divided by 5 will be between 25 divided 5 and 20 divided 5. So our example 22 and 12, 12 hundred divided by 5 will be between 5 because 25 divided 5 equals 5 and 4 because 20 divided 5 equals 4. So the quotient of our example 22 and 12 hundreds divided by 5, it will be between 8, uh, between 4 and 5. 